Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a simple diorama card. This was a request by somebody but unfortunately I've lost my notes with the person's name on. I think she was a Jean or a Joan. So if that's you, this is the video for you and I hope it helps you out. So the first thing we're going to do is come to the properties box and choose a rectangle. I'm going to come to the properties box. I'm going to make sure that the maintain aspect ratio is unticked because I want to set the size of this rectangle to a specific size. So on the height I'm going to make it four and a quarter and on the width I'm going to make it eight and a half. Then while that's selected, I'm going to right click and hit duplicate and I'm going to make another one, but I'm going to make this one smaller in the width. So I still want four and a quarter on the height, but I want this one to be six and a half inches wide. Okay, now we actually need two of this top one, but I'm just going to do it this way first and hopefully you'll, you'll see why. You can make these any size you want. I did a quick Google search and the most popular size seems to be this six and a half by four and a quarter. But as I say, I'm just showing you the basics of how to do it and then you can play around with it and make it any size you want and move your dashed fold lines or whatever to suit your project. So, the first thing I'm going to do, this rectangle, I'm going to put up here in this top left hand corner because I want to use the ruler. So I'm just going to zoom in, I'm going to select the rectangle and the ruler starts here at zero, right in the corner of this grey section. So I'm going to position this rectangle. So with that in position now on the ruler, you can see here that this end is on the eight and a half and this end here is on the four and a quarter. Right, so now I'm going to put in two score lines. So I'm going to come to the path tool and select it and then I'm going to come over to the two inch mark and I'm going to actually put my cursor on this two inch mark. You can do it down here by eye if you want but I'm going to put it actually on the two inch mark on the ruler and that way hopefully my dash lines will be in the right place. So I'm going to left click and let go, hold the shift key down, drag out my mouse and just extend it beyond the bottom of this rectangle and double click. It's anchored the path line and it's highlighted it. Now while it's highlighted, I'm going to come to the properties box. I'm going to come over here and make it a cut line and then under pattern, I'm going to change it to a dashed line and I'm going to choose this third one down and close that box. Now I need to put a dash line at two and a half inches from this end. So this is why I wanted to get this line on the eight and a half inch mark. So now I need to put my next dash line at six and a half because that gives us two inches from zero to two. And if we put it on six and a half, that will give us two inches from six and a half to eight and a half. So I hope that makes sense. So I'm going to come back to the path tool, go to the six and a half inch, left click and let go, hold my shift key down, drag my line out beyond the rectangle, double click to anchor it while it's selected, change it to a cut line and then to the dash line. So that's what we've got so far. Now I'm going to drag an imaginary box around everything so I get all three items selected and while it's all selected I'm going to right click and hit duplicate and then drag the duplicate down here. I'm just going to zoom back out just so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to move that one out of the way. So this, this section here, I just want the rectangle and the two dash lines. I'm going to right click and group them. They're going to be the back of the card. So I'm going to put that down here. 
This is the front and the smaller section is going to be our middle. So we need to put a shape in the middle. It can be any shape you want, but just for the purposes of this video, I'm just going to choose a basic shape. I'm just going to choose a simple circle. So this card here is four and a quarter inches high and it started off at eight and a half wide, but we've taken two inches off this side and two inches off this side. So two and two is four. If we take four off eight and a half, which is the overall width, we're left with about four by four and a quarter. So my shape, I'm going to take it down to about, in fact, I'll use the properties box. I'll check maintain aspect ratio and I'll make it three and a half and see how that looks. That looks okay. So with the circle selected at three and a half inches, I'm going to come to the edit box. I'm going to choose the offset line. I'm going to select inward and I'm going to make it a quarter of an inch smaller. So 0 0.24 and say OK. So the inner line is going to be for this middle section. So I'll just put those two out of the way for now. And this bigger one is going to be for this front section. And I want to punch it out of this big rectangle. If I select everything and you subtract, the dashed lines will disappear. I'm going to select the rectangle, hold my shift key down and select the circle and they're the only two items I've got selected. I'm going to come to edit, center on the middle and edit, center on the horizontal. So on the vertical and horizontal. So this circle is exactly in the middle of this rectangle. And while just those two items are selected, I'm now going to go to edit and subtract and if I fill this with a colour like I usually do just to show you I'll fill it with red you can see that this is a square a rectangle now with a hole in the middle and my dash lines are still there so I'm going to take the fill out and the reason that I've done it this way is because this bigger rectangle is the back and it doesn't have anything punched out of it and by doing the rectangle and putting the dash lines in place first and making a copy of those. I know that this back and this front will line up exactly and fold in exactly the same place. So what I want to do now, if I just move this and show you, those are still there, but this is all one. So I'll undo. So that all goes back to being centralized. I'm going to grab the two dash lines and this now, and I'm going to group them. So right click and group. And I'll just zoom back to the map. So this is now one group, which is the front. This is another group, which is the back. And then we've got this middle section that we need to deal with. So I'm going to do exactly the same thing. I'm going to put this rectangle up on this top corner. Zoom in and position it. So this edge lines up with this inner edge. And this top edge lines up with the top of the ruler. And hopefully, if I slide along, that should be on the six and a half. And it looks as though it is. Might just shuffle it back ever so slightly. Okay, now I'm going to zoom back to the mat. So what I want to do now is just select this so you can see this a bit better. And on this middle smaller section, we're going to score at one inch from either end. So I'm going to do the same path tool, put my cursor on the one inch, click and let go, hold my shift key down, drag my straight line out, double click to anchor it, change it to a cut line and a dash line, and then come over here and do exactly the same at the five and a half inch mark. And that gives us a scored line at one inch from either end. Well, now that went crooked, so I'm going to undo that, come back and do it again. So left click, let go, hold my shift key down, drag out, double click and let go.
And again, we're going to center our smaller circle when I can find it. So I'll zoom back to map, there it is. So again, we only want to select the circle and the rectangle and center them up. So this is the smaller circle. So I'm going to position it over the rectangle. I'll try and zoom in a bit more. So I'm going to select the rectangle, nothing else. Hold my shift key down and select the circle. Come to edit, center on the horizontal, center on the vertical. While I've just got those two selected, edit, subtract. And again, if you're unsure whether it's worked, select it and fill it with a color and you'll see straight away if it's worked because you should see a white hole and that has. So I'm going to take the fill out. And now I'm going to select everything because I want to group the dash lines to this now. Right click and group. So if I zoom back to the map now, what we've got, we've got a rectangle with a bigger hole in the middle and dash lines at two inches from either end. We've got a big rectangle with dash lines at two inches from each end. And we've got a small one with the smaller circle in the middle and a dash line at an inch from each end and that when glued together makes the diorama card and basically that's going to sit on top of there and that's going to be your back bit. For assembly purposes what you want to do is on your back section here fold this section and this section towards you On your middle section, apply a D sith on this section and this section and fold these sections away from you. And this and this will stick to this side and this side. And then for your front section, you fold this section and this section away from you and apply adhesive on the back of this section and this section and wrap it around the back or go onto YouTube and put in the search box diorama card you'll find lots and lots of videos and you'll see how to assemble your card it's very simple really I hope you found that helpful please give the video a thumbs up if you did don't forget to subscribe make sure you've got the notifications turned on and if you've got the notifications on you'll be notified when I upload my videos and hopefully that was helpful to the lady that asked the question or anybody else and I'll see you in the next video thank you